The Grateful Crane Once upon a time, near a pretty little pond, there lived a beautiful crane. He was the most handsome bird there, but he wasn't very grateful for it. He hated his legs, his wings, his beak, and simply whined about it all year. Everyone had heard him grumble, from the birds that lived in the highest tree to the fish that swam in the deepest part of the pond. They were all very tired of hearing him. One night, as he was resting on a tree, he started to grumble as usual. All oh, these legs of mine are so useless, and these wings, they aren't strong at all. Neither are they pretty. If only I could have had wings as colorful as a butterfly. Hoot hoot! Oh! Oh! You scared me! Oh, my heart beats so fast! Such a useless heart as well! Hoot! What a funny thing to say. No one has a useless heart. Then I am no one. For everything I have is useless. My legs are like little twigs. My beak is long and ugly, and my wings? So pale and white, no color at all. How I wish I was a butterfly. Little Crane, speak carefully. Do you really think being a butterfly would be better? <sighs> yes, I do. Everyone in the whole world would love and adore me. I would be the most beautiful creature ever. I wish I could be one. Woohoo! I warned you, little crane. But I speak the truth and tell no lie. By morning you shall be a butterfly. Woot woot! The next morning, the crane woke up. But something was wrong. He wasn't near his pond. And neither was he a crane anymore. My, what a pretty flower! I've never seen such a big flower in my life. Hmm? What are these behind me? Oh, wings? I, I'm not a crane anymore. I'm a butterfly? Indeed. The crane had made his wish and had now transformed into the most beautiful little butterfly. His wings had such bright colors and he looked lovely in the sun. Oh, these wings are amazing! So beautiful and such lovely colors! Oh! <laughs> and away he fluttered, showing off his wings to all the flowers and bees he saw. He flew as high as he could go to show his wings off to the world. Oh, how lovely I look! These wings are so, so beautiful! Oh, I hope this isn't a dream! At that moment, an eagle came after him. Ah! He was so scared that he started fluttering away very fast. But his wings weren't much use. They were very small, and he found it very hard to escape. <gasps> no! Get away! Oh no! Oh, what do I do? Fly faster! Fly faster! At last, he hid in the bushes, and the eagle flew away. <sighs> oh, that was so close. Oh, these wings are terrible for escaping. Oh, now what do I... Huh? At that moment, a frog had spotted her. The butterfly looked very beautiful, and the frog thought it would make a very delicious meal for him. No! Ew! Stop that! Being a beautiful butterfly is terrible. It has caused me more trouble than ever. Maybe if I was a fish underwater, it would be better. A body full of shiny scales and no eagles to simply munch on me. <sighs> Maybe it would be a better life to be a fish. The poor little butterfly fell into a deep sleep. He was very tired after the chase and scared that he had to face. Oh, that 
with a very strange dream. Butterflies and eagles? Huh. Scary. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Why can't I fly? He soon realized that the wings he was trying to fly with were now tiny little fins. Fins? Where are my wings? <gasps> I'm a fish? And this is the ocean! Oh, my wish came true! Yippee! These scales are so beautiful! They shine just like colored mirrors! <laughs> and off he went, looking at all the lovely corals and beautiful fish that swam everywhere. The sea is so beautiful, and I am so beautiful. I fit here perfectly. Nothing can trouble me down here. <laughs> but as he swam and hummed, he soon came to a very lonely area. He was still looking around when suddenly, he bumped into something pink and soft. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's so soft and squishy. Oh, this is very fun to play with. <laughs> he went on playing with the strange thing until suddenly a giant octopus came out from behind a rock. It had been one of its tentacles and the octopus wasn't happy about the fish playing with it. Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Um, bye. Huh? And away they dashed. The poor fish swam very fast, trying to escape the huge octopus. But the octopus was fast, and the little fish wasn't so used to swimming. Phew! Well, that was close. Didn't expect so much trouble in the sea, too. Ooh! I mean, mmm, bloop. There's trouble everywhere, little fish. Do you not know that? Who are you? Do I know you? Um, no, I don't think you do. But you look familiar. Ooh, I mean, blub, blub. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Of course you don't know me. The ocean is very vast, you see. Hmm. If only I was the strongest beast, then nobody would dare challenge me. The strongest would be a lion. I wish I could be a lion. Is that so? Are you not happy being a fish with shiny scales, then? Oh, they're of no use to me. How amazing would it be if I could be the bravest king of all? Hmm, well, if that is what you think, and if it's what you wish, then it shall be granted, my little fish. Ho, ho, ho. And in an instant, the fish was surrounded by many, many bubbles. He closed his eyes in fear and heard the roar of the sea come around him. And just as suddenly, the sound disappeared. He opened his eyes and found himself standing in the middle of a jungle. A jungle? Why am I here? Wait, paws? And a tail? I'm a lion! His roar was so loud, it made all the leaves around him tremble and shake. <laughs> King of all jungle, ruler of all beasts. No one would dare come and harm me. <laughs> and away he strode through the jungle, feeling very majestic. He roared at all the tiny animals he saw, and they ran and hopped out of his way. This feels simply amazing. I never knew how much power a lion have. <laughs> this is such fun. But as he walked, he stepped into a hunter's trap and was soon trapped inside a cage which he couldn't free himself from. What is this? Let me out! Let me go! And from behind the bushes came the two hunters. They were very evil looking and soon the lion started to feel afraid. What an amazing lion! If we take him now, we'll be able to sell him for a very good price. <laughs> yes, let's hurry and take him away. 
the poor lion, on hearing this, started to tremble very badly. No! No! Please don't take me anywhere! Oh, someone help me! I don't want to be a lion anymore! I was happy as a crane! Let me be a crane again! Huh? It was just a dream? Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Oh! I am so happy to be myself again! My lovely legs! My beautiful beak and my wings! Oh, my strong and magnificent wings! I am so proud of you all! Oh! The crane had learnt his lesson. It is important to be grateful for what you have and for what you are. A simple dream had taught him that. Or maybe it wasn't a dream at all. Hmm? <laughs>